to another vlog. It is Sunday. I have two days off and I thought I would just share with you what I get up to. So I went for a little walk this morning to get some fresh air and now Clinton and I are off to the markets. For so long, for so long, moonlight on the lawn and your hand in down car. So far. Okay, we've had our coffees, we've had our brekkie, so it's time to clean up. Clinton has requested Missy Elliott cranked up to 10 out of 10. Yeah, I like that. Who's you want? She's touching on Southside. Who's back, but you know I don't really go outside. When the person come, we don't give thanks because it's about time. Yeah, spend all my time in the woods and the hills and the alpines. Cause I ain't trust what you're doing is real In time you will show me things for now Starting to question what all this really about We used to bunk it, now I hardly see you around I don't got time for nobody who's bringing me down Down up a hundred bands with a click Now I got Rocky Road on my wrist Now I can lock a load on the shit Shorty gon' drop a roll cause it's lit Me and my brothers hang in the cut Smoking on but we can't get enough We set a pace we ain't keeping up Oh yeah we used to pray for the love Yeah, now I just get it Hello, hello, it is me and Ross. <laughs> He's looking a bit sick on this side. Sun damage. That's what it'll do to you folks. All right, well, I have done some cleaning at home, as you would have seen. I can't relax until the house is clean. I don't know. I just need a clean environment to feel like I'm in control of things. <laughs> So we went to the markets this morning and got a bunch of fruit and veg. We haven't been to the markets in so long. We obviously stopped going because of COVID. Seriously, Ross, this is just rude. So we stopped going when COVID hit and we were in like serious lockdowns, but now it's open again. And I thought, let's go. It's so bloody cheap compared to going to the supermarket. But anyway, I need to go and get the rest of the groceries now. Clinton is gonna stay at home and he's working on his vows. I haven't finished mine yet. I've started, but they still need some work. All right, well, when I get home, I'll give you a little grocery haul and then I'll probably just have a nice chill afternoon. I do need to clean up my beauty room a bit and get ready for filming tomorrow. But other than that, I think it's time to sit on the lounge with some snacks and chill out. All right, grocery haul. Almond milk for smoothies. And then I've seen a few people on YouTube talking about this Oatly oat milk. So I thought I'd give it this a try for coffees. I needed some more gluten-free flours. And then I decided to try this gluten-free brownie mix because I haven't been sticking very well to not eating gluten-free and I got hives again. So instead of getting donuts from the 7-Eleven, I need to make this. I got Clinton, I got you some treats, Clinton. Some blueberry muffins. And then I found they had gluten-free versions. So two for me. Clinton also wanted some little Snickers. I picked up these Harvest Snap salt and vinegar. They are delicious. And then I saw that Carmen's had come out with these gluten-free crackers. I love chips and crackers and snacking on things. And these look delish. I got some rice cakes. These are a good snack with like peanut butter or avocado. A bunch of muesli bars for Clinton. And I got these ones for me. They are the salted caramel nut butter by Carmen's. I got some avocados because we didn't get these at the markets this morning. And then these coals, seeds and grain rice crackers are really nice. I got them to go into this olive dip. Love olives. Got some milk, some tofu to have stir fry this week. And then I picked up a hoisin and garlic sauce for the stir fry. And then some canned beans. Oh, butter beans. I was meant to get cannellini. Well, I want to make homemade baked beans, so I guess I'm using butter beans. And then I got some cream to make a butter chicken this week. Here's the chicken and then some washing powder. And that's pretty much it. It was $120 all up. Oh, I'm starving. What should I have? Let's try a muffin. 
not bad pretty sugary okay so i was going to clean up in here but my girlfriend ended up coming over i think i mentioned but i have my second hens night on the weekend so she come over to look through some dresses and while she was here she used her mermaid waver on my hair so we did some curls it really didn't need a lot because my hair is naturally wavy but it just kind of like zhuzhed it up a bit so it was nice and we had some wine and so now i'm just getting ready because my sister is coming over and we are going out to dinner i've just got my pears soap here and i'm brushing my brows up i've already put like i've already used my pencil and my essence brow pen but i just wanted them to be a little bit more fluffy so i'm just using the soap to zhuzh them up if you want to see my full soap brow routine, it's in my latest Tanika Talks video. Monday morning it is so rainy outside there has been severe thunderstorm and weather warnings all of yesterday and today oh my god dinner last night was so bloody delicious definitely going back there the restaurant was called rice boy um, at Malula Bar Wharf the house is pretty clean from yesterday I just have a little bit to catch up on my kitchen table is looking a bit um how you going so I need to clean that up but besides that I think it's just going to be a filming day and take it kind of easy so this is my planner I have one by Steph Pays I had the bigger version last year but this year I thought I'd try out the smaller one so I'm just going to go over my habits for the week that I would like to do. It's usually the same thing every week. I do my AM pages in the morning, which I think I've talked about in videos before. It's just like a bit of morning journaling. I like to have move my body, just going for a walk or doing some stretching, me time. This is something I've really been trying to focus on to fill up my bucket and make sure that I am taken care of. So whether it's just watching an episode of Friends or reading a book or stretching, just something that I enjoy. And then I like to be in bed by 9.30 and wake up at 5.30. And then I just tick them off during the week as I go. I actually have a pretty busy week this week. I've got hands 2.0 on Saturday. I'm so excited about. So I'm getting my brows done on Tuesday. We also have a video call with the videographer for the wedding just to catch up and see where things are at. And then I've got counseling on Thursday night. So now I'm just going to write in all my working hours and any other things that I have on. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs for brekkie on toast. So I spoke about this in my Tanika Talks video, my last one, that I found out I have a gluten intolerance and a wheat allergy, woohoo. So this is the gluten-free bread that I've been eating. It's from Coles. It's actually pretty good. It does have a little bit of a sweet taste to it, but it's still nice and soft and like not too dense. It's quite nice. I'm gonna chop up some chives and some spinach to put in my eggs. I'm also just going to put a little bit of cheese in there because who doesn't love cheesy scrambled eggs? These eggs are really like yellow. My mum has chickens and she brings me over eggs from her chickens and they're really delicious eggs. Okay, I've just finished filming. I only end up filming one video um, and I just need to tidy up in here because there's a lot going on. I've got packages over here, makeup that needs to be sorted out. There's just... <laughs> so if you saw my last review of the new Maybelline foundation, you would know I'm very upset that they've discontinued the original. 
and I thought I found it online and so I purchased two from Cosmetic Capital but this is the shade 10 Ivory and when I put it out of the packet I was like oh that looks dark because I needed the shade zero something true ivory let me get it and compare so this is the shade that i use here 03 true ivory and this is the shade that i bought 10 ivory oh so dark i thought i'd found it it was literally like seven dollars i was like yes um so i need to return these luckily they do returns you just have to pay for shipping next i have a package here from ilua so they sent me some of their pre-glued lashes because i'm going to create an instagram reel using them so i've got two styles here these are 101 and then i've got 141 Gluing lashes is actually like quite difficult. So I'm interested to see how these pre-glued ones go. I recently tried the Ilua. It's like a lash glue, but in a pen. So good. Like it was really good, worked really well. So it's just nice to have different options when it comes to gluing on lashes. And then I recently received this huge package from Paula's Choice Skincare. I have loved their skincare for so long, like years and years now I've been using the BHA liquid exfoliant. And they were doing a live event where Paula herself was just chatting through some new products and some skincare. I couldn't make it because I was working, but they still sent me all the goodies, which is so nice. First of all, there's cookies in here. And this cookie matches the product. <laughs> How bloody cute is that? So there's cookies in there. And then I've got a bunch of goodies. So there's the Ceramide Enriched Firming Moisturizer. This is the BHA liquid exfoliant that I mentioned. Freaking love it. If you've got texture or large pores, it just clears up your skin so well. I've got an eye cream, which I actually don't have one at the moment. So I'm excited to use this because it contains retinol and vitamin C. And then we've got a retinol treatment, retinol and bakuchiol. Never heard of that, probably butchering it. And then we've got a niacinamide treatment and a much stronger AHA and BHA little product here. This is an exfoliant peel. <gasps> I'm so excited to try these. I just, Paula's Choice Skincare has just always worked for me, always. So that is the mess I need to clean up over here. I need to put it away and categorize it all. I've just got a little table over here that looks quite messy, but it is categorized. These are like new products or just new little things to try. These are products that I'm going to give away to friends or family. And here I've got testing Jessica Braun faves. So I'm adding in some products in here to test out. And then I usually have a new drugstore makeup basket, but that one, oh my God, look at the mess. <laughs> that one is over here. So I've got some new drugstore makeup to test out. Like I know it just looks so shambled in here, but I swear I know what's going on. I'm gonna clean up now anyway. Things are looking so much better in here. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's start on this kitchen table. I don't even know what to do with this, but my mom gave it to Clinton and I. This is our wedding present. She's going to buy us a dryer and a washing machine for our new house. So <laughs> she gave it to us early so that we could pick one out, like before we started shopping. So <laughs> she found this toy washing machine comes with a little iron. I think I'll keep it for my niece. <laughs> I went to Priceline the other day and picked up a few things. I got some more of these Essence Eyebrow Tiny Tip Brow Pens. So bloody good for the hair like strokes and they're only $5. So I picked up two of those and they are in the shade medium brown. I also picked up one of the Falsies Lash Lift Mascaras, the waterproof version. 
I love the original version and I thought I would give this one a go for my wedding day. And then I picked up another one of these Oxygen C um, Vitamin C serums from Skin Physics. I've already gone through a whole one and I think it really made a difference to my skin. So I picked up another one while it was on sale. And then I got a package from Amazon. I picked up a Polaroid camera. So these are the Fujifilm Instax Mini 11. This is what the box looks like. It was super cheap on Amazon. I got the camera and two 60 packs of film for like $120. These cameras at JB Hi-Fi on their own are $109. So how bloody good is that? I've wanted one for ages and I thought I would pick one up for the wedding. Um, everyone can take a little picture and put it in a guest book. And then, yeah, I just got a ton of film so that we could take photos like throughout the entire day. Okay, well, this is about as clean as it's going to get. The kitchen table is pretty much like my little workspace. Let me just show you my friend's puzzle I've been working on. This is what it looks like. I feel like I'm doing pretty good so far. I don't have much left. It was such a fun puzzle. Like every picture you're like, oh my God, that's from that episode. That's from that episode. And the pictures are in here twice. So it's a little tricky or sometimes three times. This Monica with her, with her hair, it's in there again somewhere, but so cool. I'm not sure where it's from because I did get it as a gift, but if you look it up online, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Here's the box again. I don't know if it has a brand on it. Smith Street gift. That might be it. All right, well, I'm going to do a bit of wedding stuff now. I need to find some jackets for the bridesmaids because it's going to be winter in the hinterland. It's freezing. I also want to look for some disposable cameras to sit on each of the tables so everyone can have fun with that. And I just need to send a few emails for the house. So I'm going to have some lunch and do a bit of that. All right, so I haven't really found exactly what I'm after, but this is kind of the vibe that I would like for my bridesmaids. I'm thinking more beige rather than pink though. Mm, I like it. I'm just having a little snack. I picked up these Harvest Snacks, chickpea baked crisps. And I thought they were going to be like a crunchy chickpea. But to my surprise, they are like puffed chickpeas. So they're like a Cheeto. Oh, they're so good. This is the roasted capsicum. A little like, not like spicy, but a little bit spicy. I don't know. If you can't handle any spice, don't eat these. But like, I'm going to blow your head off. But yeah. These are freaking delicious. For the wedding, I'm looking at doing something with my flowers afterwards. So originally I was thinking of getting some resin coasters. I saw some really pretty ones on TikTok, but they were based in the US. So I've just inquired with this woman here to see if she will do it. But there are some really beautiful options, like things that you can do with your bouquets after. This person puts them in frames. Um, these ones are also in frames, but just like selected flowers. Super pretty, like a bookmark. And then this one here, I think I've already looked at this website. Yeah, it's also resin, but like, what are they called? Like paperweights, things like that. So, oh, I just don't know what I want to do yet. It's like, 2.30 in the afternoon and it is pouring down rain. The lighting is absolutely horrific. So sorry about that because I just film on my phone. I don't have a vlogging camera, but I just wanted to show you, I'm printing out this 28 day self care challenge that a YouTuber who I watch, a fellow Aussie, I found her through Kmart hauls and now I just love every video she uploads. And her name is Emma Caitlin and she created this 28 day self care challenge. So I'm going to print it out and try and use it for the next 28 days. Cause I just feel like I've been a little bit off track with some of my routines. And I think that this will be a good way to get back into it. So I'll just show you what's on there. So this is it here. If you want to have a little scan over some of the days, take a mental health day, declutter a space, get a manicure, go for a hike, go through old photos. That's one that I love doing. 
go for a picnic. So I just think it's a really nice, easy way to get back into a bit of a routine. If you want to print this out for yourself, I will link the video down below where you can go to her website and get this. All right, so my homemade baked, baked? <laughs> Buck beans. All right, so my homemade baked beans are on and I don't really have a recipe. I'm just kind of guessing as I go. So while I'm waiting for them, I'm going to roast up some chickpeas. And I was watching a vlog the other day. I think it was by Amanda Ducks. She does a lot of vegan, um, what I eat in a day's, kind of videos and she roasted up some pumpkin seeds. So I'm going to roast them with the chickpeas. Oh, I don't feel how I used to anymore, anymore. I don't hear from you like I used to anymore, anymore. So the chickpeas are to go into my salads for lunches. I'm just going to prep a few ingredients for the salad. So when I get home from work, it's just chopped up and ready to go. All right, my beans are looking pretty good. I just found some kale in the fridge that we didn't finish off last week. So I'm just going to tip that in there. Add a few more veggies to it. Okay, the cucumber was pretty much it because I've got marinated olives in the fridge, beetroot, and I'll have the chickpeas. So that's pretty much my salad done. So now I'm gonna prep up all the ingredients for stir fry tonight. We're gonna have just a vegetarian tofu stir fry. And then I'm gonna just prep up some more veggies for the rest of the week. So tomorrow night we're having a butter chicken. So I'll prep the broccoli and whatever other vegetable I'm putting with that. And then a bit later in the week, we're gonna have a massimum. I think that's how you say it, just another vegetable curry. So I'm gonna cut up the pumpkin and get that ready. That way when I come home from work, I don't have to spend ages in the kitchen. It's all prepped. I can just quickly cook up a meal and sit down and relax. All right, dinner is ready. It looks a bit sloppy, but I promise it's delicious. We've got tofu, egg, cabbage, snow peas, zucchini, um, capsicum, carrot, cashews, and lots of coriander. Clinton doesn't like coriander, but I'm clearly a fan. Yeah, now we'll probably sit down and watch The Office and just chill out for the rest of the night. So, so this will be the end of the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoy vlogs and I can definitely do more. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.